this is Ingram and Atia. Ingram has the camera. And we are out to have lunch at at a hotel restaurant where we are in Ireland. And it's St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all of those who celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And it's really interesting because I ordered, I, I asked for the menu, right? And when he came to take the order, he wanted to know what we wanted. I said, well, can we have a menu? So when he brought the menu, he bought this huge chalkboard and <laughs> set it right next to us. And I said, oh, you can't miss that. So I ordered what I thought taco and chips, right? Without the meat. So when she brought me my wonderful dish with the nice salad and taco fries is what I had. So it's actually taco chips and not taco and chips. This is the beauty of traveling when you are dealing with language barriers and culture and so forth. Sometimes there is a little disconnect, but it's funny because those connects are easy to make when you just put forth the effort and not necessarily compromise who you are, but just understand the other cultures of where you are and embrace that culture as well as maintain your own. So I don't know, I think Ingram might want to say something, so I'll hold the camera for him. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, this is the first, obviously, St. Patrick's Day I'm celebrating in Ireland, so great. Um, yeah, what did I have to do? I've got, so I've got a cheese and onion sandwich. I, you know, it's really weird since I've come to Ireland, I've become more spicy and, or wanting more spicy food. So in here I've got cheese and onion sandwich, but I've got the sweet chilli sauce in it with the onions and I've got some fries. Um, you know, switching to from being a person who ate meat to now somebody who's a vegetarian. Sometimes when you come to these places to eat, you think to yourself, oh, I don't know what I'm going to eat. But, you know, food's been good. I've enjoyed becoming a vegetarian. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. And I thank my wife for that. But yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. We're here chilling. We've got a nice table to ourselves. Nice, quiet location. So after we've done that, we play a game of it's Yahtzee. Yahtzee and Scrabble. A game, a game of Yahtzee and a game of Scrabble. So yeah, that's us for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're having a great St. Patrick's Day too. Um, this is Ingram signing out. And Atiyah. Yep, and Atiyah. Cheerio. I was up there because you didn't get the bonus. So now... <coughs> You have 11, 12. No, oh, your Shotzi bonus. You get 200 there. So then, let's see. 6, 10, 11. Carry to 1. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Plus 55 from up here. So that's 6. That's 8. You got 386. And had it not been for those two Yahtzees, I would have whipped you. So rematch. <laughs> What's the score in the end? 386 to 214. Ingram. Who <laughs> got whooped at their own game? Shut up. Rematch. How can you buy a game and get whooped at it? Rematch. He whooped me in Yahtzee today, <laughs> but I'm going to beat his butt in Scrabble. He got whooped the old game twice, not once, but twice. And there has a nerve to ask for a third game. For a yes, people yes. Ask for, people don't ask for rematches when they got whooped twice in a game of a big game. Let me redeem myself. <laughs> Come on, let me redeem myself. If I win the next game, we gotta play another one. But if you win it, it's the best three. <coughs> if it's the best of three, I'm not yours. You can't right. come back. It's the best three. So no, 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 no. It's like this. Okay. If if you win the next game, it's like it's like the best out of five. Because let me tell you how it goes. It's like if you win the next one, that means it's over. Yeah, but it was over. But wait a minute. No, 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 no. This is how it goes. If it's the best out of five, right? That's who wins the tournament. So like you won two already. If you win one more, 
it's over. You win. But if I win, then we got to play another one. And if you win that one, it's over. But if I win, then we got to play that fifth game. So come on. Okay, hi, this is Atiyah. We ate our meal. The meal was actually pretty good. The taco fries were delicious. So we had a nice salad, which had a lemony taste to it. It was lovely. But now we have dessert. I have chocolate fudge cake um, with a little ice cream. I don't normally do ice cream, but it's so pretty. Look at this. And... Ingram has apple pie. Ingram has apple pie, custard, and ice cream. That is so lovely looking. So, But you know what? This restaurant has been closed probably for the last hour and a half, two hours. And we didn't know it. We were sitting here playing Yahtzee and, and Gary played Scrabble and we ordered the dessert. And she let us know, well, we've actually been closed since 3 o'clock. But I'll get you your dessert. So the service has been amazing. They have let us stay in this restaurant sitting and enjoying ourselves. So we're going to have dessert and then we're going to leave. But we wanted you to show you the wonderfully prepared dessert. See you next time.